Hi, this is Pete Singer with Solid State Technology. I'm here at Semicon West 2017, and I'm talking to Mike Ferraro with Conex. And uh, Mike, could you tell us a little bit about the company? Sure, Conex is a company, privately owned company in Buffalo, New York. Been in business about 65 years, and we make uh, temperature sensors for the semiconductor industry that's primarily thermocouples, but also RTDs. And we also make uh, vacuum and pressure seal fittings and feed throughs. Okay, and what are you talking about here at the show? I, I understand you have a new product called Etch Defender. Yeah, we're really excited to be here at Semicon this year to introduce our new product called Etch Defender. Etch Defender is a coating that goes on quartz uh, that's typically inside of a process chamber that would be exposed to high temperatures and HCL etch cycles. And uh, of course, that typically eats away at quartz quite readily. And we found that with uh, Etch Defender coating on the quartz, that the quartz will typically last about three times longer than an uncoated uh, thermocouple. And uh, the, the, the significant things that that results in are kind of four key points that we like to point out. One is that uh, although the thermocouples with the coating, of course, they cost more, but because they last longer, you end up buying less uh, thermocouples over the cor course of the year, so that gives about a 30% savings in thermocouple costs. Secondly, um, because they last longer, you have less uh, stoppages for maintenance cycles for replacing the thermocouples, so there's quite a significant savings there. We try to eliminate uh, typically uh, at least one to perhaps two maintenance cycles because of the, the increase in life of lasting up to about three times longer. The third point uh, is that um, when you're not shutting down for maintenance cycles, of course your tool is up more for, so you can produce more wafers at the end of the year. You end up with more wafers per month output from your tools. And then finally, because uh, of the, the uh, less maintenance requirements, you do less uh, opening of the chamber. And every time you open the chamber, you have the potential of introducing contaminants and uh, having particle contamination on your wafer. So if you can leave your chamber buttoned up for longer periods of time, then you have uh, less yield loss on your wafers. Okay, well, thanks, Mike. Well, live from Semicon West, Pete Singer and Mike Ferraro.